Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a dynamic target line in Excel bar charts. Now let me first show you the end product what we are trying to create here. I have the monthly sales data here and I have a chart here. Now the idea is that this is the target line your monthly target and all those months where you exceed your the target or you meet the target the bars get highlighted in a different color and you have the flexibility to choose the target or change it on the fly so here I have this scroll bar and as soon as I move the scroll bar you can see that the target line moves and whenever there is a month where the target is met it gets highlighted in green color for example here for September and March they are highlighted in green because they meet the target which is this value as of now and I can change this so now I change the target and let me make it this so the target as of now is 214 and you can see that in the chart there are seven months where this target has been met and all these get highlighted in a different color now let me show you how to create this from scratch so all you would have is the sales data for 12 months and 12 months sales data the first thing is to identify those months where the target has been achieved so to do that I have the target value here I've randomly put any number which is 200 here and I use a formula where I say if this value in B2 is greater than the target value and I lock it by pressing F4 if this is greater than this value then this value should be displayed else display not available and I hit control enter and you can see that there is a not available sign here a not available value because the target is not met it's 80 by while the target is 200 and I drag this down and you can see whenever the target is met that value gets displayed the benefit of using not available is that this does not get plotted in the chart so if I plot this line only those numbers would get plotted where there is a value now I select this entire data set and I go to insert Within insert within charts I go to 2d column chart and I click on this so now I have this chart available here where there are two bars one is the actual sales value and the second is the sales value if the target has been met in that month what I need to do is overlap these values in such a way that if the target is met only one bar should be displayed in a different color so I click on this and I right click and I go to format data series here I have the format data series options and there is an option series overlap as of now it says minus 27 percent the meaning is the distance between these if I change this to zero you can see that there is no gap between these and when I increase it you can see that these bars start overlapping with each other so what I will do is I would change this value and make it 100 percent and now when I do that you can see that these bars have a complete overlap so whenever there is a month where the target has been met it is highlighted in a different color now the next step is to create that line that target line a horizontal line that would change when we change the target I'll show you an innovative way to do this and I would use uh, the functionality of error bars in charts so to do that I click on this chart and I go to design here I have select data option and I click on this when I open this I have these two series which I have plotted here one is sales this data and one is above target which is this data I would add another series and I name it target line and the value I choose the target value and I click OK now you can see that the color of this bar has changed the reason is that the value is 200 here and I have plotted another series which is called target line here so you can't see it though but as of now here are two bar charts that have been plotted one is for this value 80 and the other is 200 if I change this say and I make it 400 you will see the difference 
as I make it 400 you can see that there are two charts first is this one which is target line and the other one is above target because this exceeds uh, the limit so now the target is to create an error bar and to do that I would change the series type for this single line that I've plotted on the chart so I go to target line and I change this chart to XY scatter chart and I hit OK now you can see that you see that blue bar that was earlier behind the gray bar and you could not see it earlier now I click on this and I go to design and within design I have this add chart element option within this I have error bars option so I go to error bars and I go to more error bars option and I click this this immediately introduce this horizontal error bar line for that particular scatter plot scatter point so I select this horizontal error bar and you can see that this changed to horizontal error bar now and I go down and I select custom custom means that I would myself input the values for the type the amount of error that I want to display on this chart so I click specify value and here in positive value I give the number 11 and in negative I use say 0 and I hit OK and you can see instantly this line gets extended to cover the entire chart if you do not get the right value in the first instance you can do a bit of hidden trial and you will you would get the specified value that would cover the entire chart now when you have this you can see that whenever I would change the target this line would change and the simple reason is that this line is changing because of this point and this point is the plot of this value so whenever I change this if I make it 300 this changes now I do not want to see this value here this this marker here so to do that I click on it and I go to series options within here I have the marker option and I go for none so I select the marker type as none which would and I close this so you can see that the part has gone another thing is that you can see a line here uh, a capping here at both ends of this error bar so you can change that capping as well you again go and right click format error bar and you can see here you have this option so you don't want any cap so you select no cap and that is it close this now once you have this error bar you can format this error bar you can change the color of this line so I go and I select make it red and you can change the width of this line so you make it a bit thick and in style I can change the dash type so that there is a dotted line here and that is it now you have an error bar which would change when you change the target value and whenever the target is met these bars would change its color now the third part is to introduce a scroll bar here to do that first I would fix this value so I would go and I would hit control 1 which is to open the format access option and in maximum value I would use 500 you can use any value even 600 is fine but since uh, if you look at my data the values are the maximum value I think is 480 and so I can safely choose 500 here and I select 500 and major value I select 100 and I close this so you can see that this has 0 to 500 uh, the range is 0 to 500 so now I need to introduce a scroll bar I go to developer tab and here I insert a scroll bar and I select and I insert it now the idea is to fit the scroll bar in such a way that it would move with the error line so if I move this the error line should move with it so to do that first let me fit it with the chart and I right click and I go to format control here I need to change its value for maximum value I would give it 500 because that is the value that is the maximum target that I have set incremental value could be say 
10 and pay change value could be 50. Incremental value is when you click on this icon here uh, it would change by 10 and when you click anywhere on the scroll bar uh, then it would change by 50. And I need to give a cell link so I select G2 as the cell link here and I click OK. So now when you change this value you can see that the value changes here. The idea is that this should be linked with the error bar. Now you would see the problem here is that whenever this thing the value of the scroll bar is zero this slider is at the top and when it's at the bottom the value is maximum which is uh, not right in our case because we want that as it goes up this value should increase. So I what I would do is I would change this target value here and I would make it 500 minus the scroll bar value oops I would say is equal to 500 minus the scroll bar value and I hit enter now when I change this the target value changes with the scroll bar and as I move this upwards the target line also changes with the scroll bar uh, I know this is not aligned properly but you can spend some time and make this align in such a way that this is in alignment with the error target line and this moves along with this so when I change this now it's a bit better you can see that this changes the color of the bars when a target is met you can change this I've used green color because that is supposedly a good color to use if you have your targets met you can use green color and that was the color of the line you can go here in fill use solid fill and you can use green color here so as soon as you move down you see that these are the these are the months where you have met the target so this is how you can create this dynamic chart in Excel where the target line moves along with the scroll bar and uh, and whenever uh, the target is met it gets highlighted in a different color I hope you found this useful. For more such tips and tricks on Excel, visit my website www.trumpexcel.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.